so welcome back guys in this video we'll be creating the loading effect uh i just think the loading effect seems really cool when you get to a page it shows loading and it then brings out the uh, data you want to view i just think it's cool and i'll show you guys how to actually do that and now uh, in the last video we created the view user where you can just click and view the user info and now uh, in this video we'll be doing the loading effect like i said earlier and uh, in the next video we create the update user so let's get started guys and creating the loading effect and uh, this video is actually going to be short because it's just the loading effect so let's get started guys and before we start if you're new to this channel please subscribe click the notification button to get notified whenever i do new videos so you can see them so let's get started um what i want to do right now is actually easy whenever we um uh, we we got we get to this uh page I want to show loading before we actually get the user so uh to do that to do that is easy because we're using view we're using um uh, bootstrap view and bootstrap view has this loading effect where you can uh you can actually go to their to their uh, website and check it out i've showed you in previous video i've showed you that loading effect which uh also is in the button so you can also have it in the button i think let me just see this i think i just destroyed that i think i just delete some part of my code okay i still have them right there so yeah so this one of the things I'm talking about, we have this spinner right there, which grows. I've showed you this uh, in previous video. I am not going back to it again. So uh, let's just so that's that spinner. Uh, just go to, go back to Bootstrap View and in the component go to Spinners. You find it right there. So in, for this video, uh, what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to use that spinner right there. So to use that, um, we just need to use the component, which is B spinner. Yeah. So slash B spinner. So we have that and we can just say label test center. So this is the spinner right here that we're going to use. So let's just refresh this page and see. So we have this spinner right there. This is the loading effect we want. Um, so um, right here we want uh, we want a diff. The class will be test center. So. Um, Let's refresh that and see. So we have the div right here. So, uh, but what we want right now is we only want to show this uh, loading effect if only this data is not available. Only if this data is not available. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And uh, let's just do that right now. So we want to show this only if loading is true. So let's just create a variable called loading. 
and let's just say it's false so don't confuse this loading with this load this one this with the button why this this with the spinner so um, the first thing i want to do is whenever we get in a new user we get in the list of all the users i want this loading to be true i want the loading to be true and whenever we Whenever we get the response back, I want this loading to be false. And if we get an error, I also want the loading to be false. And the next thing I want to do is uh, we get in rules, we don't need that. Whenever we create a new user, we don't need that. Yeah, that's all for now. Uh, let's just try that and see again. So let's refresh. yeah so that's the loading effect right there yeah so it might just be for split of a second but it's just it's just awesome so uh we just need to give it some styles uh let's just see i want the, the vagrant so i want the vagrant to be info and i want to give it a class I want to give it a margin top of 5 and margin bottom of 5 and uh, I also want to give it a width and height so style width of 5 rem and height of 5 rem so hopefully all this makes sense to you so let's try that again so you can see that load the effect right there so you can change it what to you can change the spinner to whatever you want maybe it's a logo of your is a logo for your project you can just put it right there and just add uh, some ammunition to it and that will do and um, but but what I love to do is I don't like repeating codes like this, like this spinner. I mean, because uh, I don't like repeating this spinner. What I do is, what I do is I create a component for it and uh, I use it in other parts of my project. So uh, let's just create a component for it and let's just say. Uh, call this component loading but for now let's just say loading dot view let's just create that file and uh, see so let's just say uh, template And paste this right there. So if loading is true, we want that. And as script, want to export default. This will be an object. And right here, we want to say props. Right here, we want to accept loading as a props, and the loading is going to be a boolean. So that is all we need to do for this. Uh, so this is all we need to do for this um, component. And right here, we need to register our component. So let's just register that. Let's just say loading. So. We have that loading and in our user let's just say um, loading and this will take a probe which is go to loading So 
that's all we need to do and let's just check this out so you see we still have the same result we still get the same result and the only difference now is we have the loading in a component so if we can just use it in other pages all we just have to do is pass um, pass the props to it to the component and it's just going to do the same thing so uh, that's it for this video I hope uh, you've liked the video you've gotten you've gained one thing or the other and I'll see you in next video guys and if you're new to this channel please subscribe turn on notification button bye guys